What have I become, now that I roamed for years? I moved towards, but never went away from. My sense of home touches hurt. Back then I felt the 
future. Now I often hear the past. Because in the end, everyone takes off. But never really leaves. Ladies and gentlemen, may I request your attention? Please give a warm welcome to our graduates. Dear students, parents, family, and friends, welcome to today's virtual graduation ceremony at Maastricht University School of Business and Economics. Thank you for joining us online from nearby and far away to celebrate with our bachelor graduates. My name is Anant Zoshi, and I'm an assistant professor at the School of Business and Economics. And I have the honor and pleasure to lead you through this festive graduation ceremony for our graduates. First of all, many congratulations to all of you who graduate as of today. I must extend this congratulation to your family and your loved ones whose unconditional support might have played an instrumental role in achieving this educational milestone. In my opinion, you are the study cohort which perhaps faced the most challenging times of our lives to accomplish this study goal. You not only accepted this challenge with grace, but have finished it successfully. Therefore, I say, well done. Today, this graduation ceremony will close one chapter of your life, but will also start a new chapter of your professional career. During your study program, you have had a mix of compulsory and elective courses. However, from now on, you will only face electives in your professional and personal life. I would like to recommend selecting these electives very carefully as you did in your study program. Of course, most of these electives will not have a well-defined course description and neither will they have clear guidelines on how you will be evaluated. So how to choose these electives? Of course, I do not have an answer for this uh, philosophical question, but from my own personal experience, I can tell you one thing for sure. Each professional choice will enrich your life with more experience and skills. In my own educational pursuit, I first obtained a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, then completed a master's in industrial management, and finally obtained a doctoral degree in 
in business management. At first glance, uh, it might look like a set of non-linear non -linear choices. And to some degree, that is true. But each decision only gave me a new perspective about my professional career and only enriched my knowledge, skills, and experience. My first decision to pursue a bachelor's degree at a prestigious government engineering institute in India was mostly driven by the societal norms. This norm was simple. You are a success story if you can make it to a medical school or an engineering school. For my parents, relatives, and family, I passed that norm handsomely. In fact, I was the first engineer in my family, taking all the key performance indicators of success. However, that excitement lived very short. As I soon realized that I would not like a career on a company shop floor or behind a computer writing long software programs, I moved to Belgium to do my master's degree in industrial management. This time, the choice was to explore the career prospects, learn more, and perhaps revitalize the ambition to move from shop floor or coding to become a successful manager. In that pursuit, I got a completely new perspective about my own professional career. With an international study program in Belgium, studying with so many international students, and working under the guidance of excellent faculty members, I finally found my own professional goal, which was to pursue a doctoral program and become a teacher and a researcher at a university. Every decision moving from one country to another have taught me something. To put it in the words of B.B. King, American songwriter and lyricist, the beautiful thing about learning is that nobody can take it away from you. So good news is that whichever elective you will select, it is only going to enrich your experience, knowledge, and skills, as long as you show full commitment and determination to your choices in life. As I mentioned earlier, I see you as a cohort who has overcome the obstacles of a pandemic to accomplish this important milestone in your life. However, for me, you are also a cohort of graduates who is experiencing the transition from information age to the age of artificial intelligence. You will be certainly a generation of graduates who will work together or parallel with the artificial intelligence driven technologies to better our lives. This new AI age is exciting, but also surrounded by so many concerns. This concern is mostly about how ethically organizations and their managers are going to use these AI-based technologies for the welfare of humankind. I would like to quote John Steinbeck, who won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1962. In his novel, Canary Row, he quotes, it has always seemed strange to me, the things we admire in men, kindness and generosity, openness, honesty, understanding and feeling are the concomitants of failure in our system. And those traits we detest, sharpness, greed, exquisiteness, meanness, egotism, self-interest are the traits of success. And while men admire the quality of the first, they love the produce of the second. Though the quote sounds cynical, it has some bitter truth which we often observe in our surrounding. I'm certain about one fact, that you as future managers, policy makers, entrepreneurs, educators, not sure about the last, if you would like to pursue an academic career though, but have a huge responsibility to maintain the highest standard of integrity and morality in the shift from the information to the AI age. I am sure you will maintain these standards high because you are now the graduates of School of Business and Economics at SBE, right? On this note, I would like to conclude my speech and would like to wish you a very bright future 
and healthy life. Thank you so much. Now, I want to give the floor to Yana. She is one of the students involved in the organization of this event. Yana, floor is yours. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. I hope you can hear me well. One second. Okay, so as mentioned, my name is, my name Yana, is Yana Novakovic, Novakovic and, I and I am one of the students of organizing, organizing this here today, but I would first of all like to thank you all for joining, for joining us today. Us today. On, behalf on behalf of everyone on the events, events team, we would like to congratulate you for all of your accomplishments, and we hope, and we you, hope you enjoy the program, program we have prepared today. today. So in, so in order to make this a bit more interactive, we have a virtual photo booth, photo booth available all day, all day which you can which access by scanning this QR code, code so the one on the, uh, the, screen. the screen. And feel, and feel free to take, take photos, photos with your friends and family all day, all day just, just to have a little memory. memory. Yes. yes. And then, and then additionally, additionally, we would also like to ask you guys to describe your time at SBE in a few, in a few words, words, which you can which post with this QR code. So if you so scan it here, here, just put, just put like, like some words that remind you of your times you spent here at SBE the past, the past few years. years. And we hope, and we that, hope that this combination of words allows you to reminisce on all the nice memories here in the city and make today memorable as well. We will share this all afterwards so you have access to everything. Okay, okay, thank, thank you, guys you guys for participating. For participating. Um, I'll, I'll give, give the word back to Anant, to Anant now. now. Um, and yeah, enjoy, and yeah, the, enjoy rest the rest of the ceremony, of the ceremony you guys. Thank you, Yana. Thank you, Yana. Some, some wonderful words and, and memories that you, that you have put on the cloud. Now, now uh, we, will uh, we will start the official, official part, part of this ceremony. ceremony. I, will I will call out, out your name and my colleagues will spotlight you in Zoom. So when it's your turn, Unmute, Unmute, make some make noise, some noise. Celebrate, celebrate with people, people that, are that are with you, you and, we hope, and we hope that this, that this way you will still, still have your moment of celebration or this, or this milestone. milestone. Also, also, if some if of you have missed some humor, some humor in my speech, in my speech this, will this will be also the occasion because, because please excuse, excuse me if I pronounce your first, first or last name incorrectly, incorrectly you, know, you know it's not it's intentional. Not so hope you're ready. Here we, Here go, we go with the first, the first graduate, graduate of the day. day.
be here. Be here, but, but I hope. I hope. Can you hear can me? You hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Can you just can type, you just in? type in? Yeah, yeah, twice, twice. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Can, you hear Can you hear me, me clearly, clearly now, now without, without any noise? Any noise? Yeah. yeah. Ma, I, uh, apologize I apologize for this technical glitch, glitch uh, but, uh, but you can't you hear. Can't hear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, is it is more it audible more audible and clear? And clear? No, no.
Can you hear me now very clearly? Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for your patience and apologies for this technical glitch. We know we live in the technical age as well. I just mentioned. So let's start where I stopped a minute or second ago. It's now the official part of this ceremony. I will call out your name and my colleagues will spotlight you in Zoom. So when it's your turn, unmute, make some noise, celebrate with people that are with you. And we hope that this way you still have your moment of celebration for this milestone. And of course you have to excuse me if I pronounce your first or last name incorrectly. I will do my best. Thank you so much. Yes, let's start now with the first graduate of the evening. Lucas Baumister. Many congratulations, Lucas. Uh, Lucas is graduating in business, BS in economics and business economics. He has also attended the open program and marble program. Many congratulations, Lucas, to you and to your family. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a very nice picture. And one important thing, Lucas is graduating with a Kam Laude. Great job. Would you like to say something? Well, I guess I can just say thank you for the very nice introduction. And um, it was a great time in Maastricht. So um, it, it's great to also have a nice conclusion like this. And um, yeah, um, hopefully we'll see each other again in Maastricht someday. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> absolutely, I mean, absolutely. Uh, Maastricht we is still the there, so program. I'm looking forward to uh, going back someday. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. And wish you everything that is bright and beautiful ahead. Next. Maria Paulda Aguirre, no, our no, next no, no. student who is graduating in bachelor's uh, in international business and emerging markets. And also she followed the marble program. Many congratulations, Maria. Thank you. <laughs> and what's your future plan? Um, I'm currently in Brazil and my plan is to stay here for a couple more months and then I'll be back to Spain. Wonderful, wonderful. Wish you all the success with your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you. Our next graduate is Arthur Boston. He did bachelor's in international business and also he has been to Montreal. Many congratulations, Arthur. We don't see you here. I think Arthur is following us via live stream. So many congratulations to you and your family, Arthur, and wish you success with the future. Next graduate is Yapuan Dalin in international business. And he has his exchange, I think in University of Pomo, we are in Barcelona. Many congratulations here. We don't see you here means you are either following us on live stream or via YouTube. So many congratulations to you and your family. Job well done. Next graduate is Luisa Di Plomant Di Soy in international business. And she had been for her exchange to Warsaw. Many congratulations, Luisa. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Would you like to say something? Well, Maastricht was really great and uh, I'm very happy. Um, now I'm in Italy with another uh, Maastricht friend. So we are happy to celebrate. So you have a big plan for the evening? <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Enjoy your evening and celebrate. Thanks. Lawrence Dinier, our next graduate in international business. 
and you follow the open program. We can't see Lawrence yet on the screen. Maybe he's following us via live stream. So many congratulations, Lawrence, and wish you success with your future. Job well done. Our next graduate is Marie Louise Frefrau von Winbull Renante Huflier Zu Rasen. I hope I did my best in pronouncing this. Many congratulations, Mary Louise. She is graduating in economics and business economics bachelor's, and she also followed open program. Job well done, Mary Louise. Many congratulations to you and your family. Next graduate is Nikolai Harbert. He is graduating in economics and business economics, and he also followed the marble program. We don't see him here, so this means he's certainly following us on live stream. So many congratulations, Nikolai, and wish you success with your future. Job well done. Next is Hele Haikema. He is graduating in econometrics and operations research, and he also followed the marble program. Many, many congratulations, Yale. Yeah, thank you. Also, Would you like to say something? What? Ah. We can't hear you. So. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, a bit better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah thank you. I also want to thank my parents who are here with me. Wonderful, wonderful. You must have some special plan for the evening with the parents. It's a great evening. You? Yeah, just drink. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Many congratulations. Thanks. And wish you success with the future. Next graduate is Lila Hood. She is graduating in economics and business economics bachelors. And she has also followed a marble program. Many congratulations, Lila. Uh, thank you. <laughs> What's next? Ah, you are on mute now. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, currently I'm doing my master's in Aberdeen in Scotland. Um, Wonderful. But yeah, I obviously miss master's and the friends that I have there. And it was just a great experience. Um, also doing my internship for emerging markets in, uh, in Cape Town. Great, great. Wish you success <laughs> with your master's program. And hope to see you, you in one of the alumni event at DSB. Job well done. Okay. Okay. Next graduate is Dana Yafel. She is graduating in economics and business economics bachelor. Many congratulations, Dana. Thank you. And what's the next plan for the future? I'm currently doing an internship in economic research. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wish you success with that and hope to see you uh, in Maastricht Thank one you. day for our Elmina event. Job well Thank done. Next graduate is Shiara La Rose. Many congratulations, Shiara. You are graduating in international business and you also have did your exchange at Queen's University in Kingston. So you have to say something to all of us. Yeah, I had a really great time. I'm doing my master's currently in um, Kingston, actually. I'm doing my master's in Queens in international business. Wonderful, wonderful. Wish you success with that and hope to see you one day in Maastricht. All the best. Well done. Next graduate is Maele Magadur. She is graduating in international business and she had an exchange at Humboldt in Berlin, and she also have done the marble program. Many congratulations, Maile, and job well done. Would you like to say something? Uh, yes, can you, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed my three years in Maastricht, and I can see that everyone is uh, around the, the world right now. So yeah, it's, uh, it's great to see everyone is continue pursuing into international studies and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed Maastricht. 
wonderful and you are graduating with kam laude so that's a cherry on the you know topping uh, or the cake wonderful job well done many congratulations to you and your family thank you next graduate is jonathan marx he is graduating in business in economics and business economics can you hear us jonathan i think he is following us on live stream so many congratulations jonathan and wish you success with your future next is nicholas menchel who is graduating in international business many congratulations nicholas would you like to say something yeah uh, thanks for the introduction and thanks for doing all of this um masters was super fun and let's see what's next great great and hope to see you one day in maastricht again of course at our alumni event many congratulations and job well done thanks next on the list moris nuba he is graduating in international business focusing on emerging markets with suma kamlaude many congratulations Moritz, and you all see also followed the Marvel program. Wonderful. Would you like to say something? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I wish everyone all the best. I'm currently in Berlin for an internship, and yeah, thanks for organizing the event. It's very nice to have some sort of graduation ceremony. Yeah. If may I ask, what's the plan for the evening? Big celebration? Yeah, I'm two with two other master's graduates right now, and we're. Going to celebrate a bit, <laughs> but I haven't seen any noise. Then make Sorry? some noise. Yeah. It's Suma Kam Laude. Enjoy. Yeah, wonderful job, and we are proud of you. Job well done. Next graduate is Antonieta Nothom. She is graduating in international business, and she had her exchange at Lusani. <laughs> Make some noise, Antonio. There, we can't hear you. Straight, <laughs> best years. <laughs> great, great. We can already see that celebration is on. So please continue. Yeah. Thank you. Job well done. Many congratulations to you and your family and loved ones. Job well done. Next graduate is Hin Han Pham. She is graduating in international business, focusing on emerging markets. She also had followed the honors program in Marbel. Many congratulations, Hin. Um, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I would like to thank everybody because, like, coming uh, all the way from Vietnam to Maastricht to study, uh, I think everyone was very supportive. And so, I want to say thank you to everyone. Um, right now, I'm just staying home with my parents. It's really nice to just be with your family when you've been away for some time. So, yeah, thank you so much. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for your kind words, and we certainly want to see you again in Maastricht one day for your alumni event. Yeah. So, wonderful job, and wish you all the best for your future. Next graduate is Declan Richards. He is graduating in international business. Many congratulations, Declan. Thank you very much. What's the plan for the future? Uh, right now, I'm doing a gap year, half of it in Cyprus, and in two weeks, I'm going to be moving to Dallas, Texas. So uh, after that, I'm planning on going to Rotterdam for my wonderful, uh, master's. Wonderful, wonderful. Wish you all the best with all these future endeavors. And hope to see you in Maastricht. Job well done. Many congratulations. Thank you. Next graduate is Ia Wan Raisel. She is graduating in economics and business economics, and she's also followed the Marble program. Ia, many congratulations. Thank you. What's next? Um, I started my master's in Maastricht and I'm still finishing another bachelor in Maastricht as well. So uh, that's wonderful. It. So you will be around 
and wish you all the best with your current study program. Job well done. Many congratulations. Next graduate is Paul Schoenwille. He is graduating in econometrics and operations research, and he has also followed Marble program. That's a great picture. Many congratulations first, and tell us something about that amazing photograph. Yeah, thank you. No, that was in Switzerland. We went for a cycling holiday. Wonderful, wonderful. And you are a avid biker, or it's just a hobby? <laughs> well, I say it's just a hobby, but I do it a bit too much and spend too much on it for it just to be a hobby. Wonderful, yeah. Many congratulations, Paul, and wish you success with your future plans. Thank Job you. well done. Next graduate is Tim Shkum Macha. He is graduating in economics and business economics. Many congratulations, Tim. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I had a blast. <laughs> Wonderful. And it's also a beautiful picture. Where did you take that picture? Uh, it was also in Switzerland, actually, in uh, Luzern. I did a road trip with my sister uh, this year. It was, ah. it was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, indeed. Very cool photo. What's the next? Um, I just finished my internship uh, with Bosch, and um, I think um, I'm going to go back for another one there to the same company, but I have several options now, so um, I'll see. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Wish you success with that and all your future plans. Job well done. Thanks a lot. Next graduate is Berkand Sehan. He is graduating in economics and business economics. He has been to Queen's University, Kingston, and also had followed honors program in Marble. Many congratulations, Berkand. Thank you. Yeah, I wish you a lot of greetings here from Canada. Um, I'm currently just as Kiara in doing my master in international business here. So Wonderful. I'm definitely coming back uh, to see you around. I want to thank my family and friends who brought me that far. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Job well done and a great picture. We see you on the screen as well. Next graduate is Roma Shah in economics and economics and business economics. And she also followed an open program. Many congratulations, Roma. Uh, we think she's following us via live stream. So wish you all the best with your future plans. Job well done. Next graduate is Alexander Shitkov. He is graduating in international business, focusing on emerging markets. And you also follow the Marble program. Uh, Alexander is perhaps following us via live stream. So many congratulations, Alexander. Job well done and wish you all the success with your future plans. Next graduate is Vincent Silvestri. He is graduating in international business. Also he is following us via live stream. So Vincent, many congratulations for this accomplishment and all the best for your future. Job well done. Next graduate is Ivan Simo. He is graduating with Kam Laude in economics and business economics, and he followed Marble's program. Many congratulations, Ivan. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Great, great. And did you enjoy your stay in Maastricht? Indeed, I have, and it really broadened my hor horizons in many ways. So I'm very, I really appreciate that. Wonderful. And what's the plan for the future? For now, I'm staying in Prague, building up on my traineeship. I'm currently doing an internship for Procter & Gamble. So for the coming few months, I'm still staying here in the Czech Republic. Wonderful, wonderful. Wish you all the best and job well done again. Thank you very much. Next graduate is Finian Stanley. He is graduating in economics and business economics. Uh, he's also following us uh, via live stream at the moment, perhaps. So Finian, if you're listening to us, many congratulations and a job well done. Many congratulations again. <laughs> Next graduate is Bobby Steins. He graduating in his fiscal economics. 
and he's also joining us perhaps via live stream. So Bobby, if you're listening to us, many congratulations from us and wish you all the best for your future. Next graduate is Luisa Valentin. She is graduating in international business, focusing on emerging markets. She also has followed honors program in Marble and Luisa is graduating with uh, Kam Laude. Many congratulations, Luisa. Thank you so much. It's a nice picture. Where did you take the picture? It's already <laughs> I... the graduations. No, that's after. true. Yeah, it was at UCM this summer. They had a graduation photo shoot, so I sneaked in there. <laughs> very nice, very nice. <laughs> What's the plan for the future? I'm now doing my master's in Lund in Sweden. Wonderful, wonderful. Wish you all the best with that program and wish you all the best for your future plans as well. Job well Thank done. Thank you. Our next graduate is Bhut Visha. He is graduating in international business and he has followed an open program. Bhut, many congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah. And what's the plan for the evening? Are you surrounded with friends and family right now? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm with my family and uh, with another graduate of this course too, uh, with both families who uh, we're celebrating tonight. Wonderful, wonderful. And what's the plan for the future? Um, I'm doing my master's in Amsterdam now in uh, entrepreneurship. And after I'll have to see. <laughs> wonderful. Wish you success with that. And again, many congratulations to you and your family. Job well done. Thank you very much. Yay! Our next graduate is Moritz Fidel. He is graduating in economics and business economics. He has also followed the Marble program. Many congratulations, Moritz. Thank you. Exciting seeing so many familiar faces again after such a long time. Wonderful, wonderful. And what's the plan for the Indian celebration? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm in exam phase currently, so it will be a terrible night and a terrible month for the next days. But I at least took the pleasure to take the now the three hours off. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for you being here and wish you all the best with your future plans. Many congratulations again. Next is Yu Ye. He is graduating in economics and business economics. He has also followed the honors program and marble. Many congratulations, Yu Sho. Thank you. Thank you very much. And where are you joining from? Uh, I'm currently in London. Wonderful. And is it your dog? Uh, yes, yes, it is. <laughs> Wonderful picture. Wonderful picture. Many congratulations to you and your family. And Thank wish you. you all the best with your future. Many congratulations you. again. Our next graduate is Damian Setsky. He is graduating in econometrics and operations research. And he also followed the marble program. Currently, I think Damien is following us via live stream. So if you are listening as Damien, many congratulations to you and your family. And we also wish you all the best with your future plans. Many congratulations again. With this, I think we have done with our graduates. So before we end this ceremony, I want to give the floor to Peter Molgard, Eric Dirac, and Christoph Bosmans. Dear students, parents, family, and friends, welcome also from me to this first ever graduation ceremony online at Maastricht University School of Business and Economics. We're doing it online because of COVID-19. I would have preferred to congratulate you by shaking your hand in person. However, we hope we have made a fun and safe online ceremony for you. Thank you for joining from nearby and far away. 
thank you for making this day special for our graduates. My name is Peter Morgard. I'm the Dean of Maastricht University School of Business and Economics, and it's my pleasure and honor to address you towards the end of this online ceremony. Today is a big day for you. It represents a milestone in your career, in your life. You came here to Maastricht University School of Business and Economics three years ago, one year ago, depending on whether you do a master's or bachelor's degree. You came here full of energy, full of expectations and ready to start your academic journey. This journey has been difficult. There have been bumps in the road. You have faced selection procedures, binding study advice after year one. You have faced difficult courses, even more difficult exams, and there have been temptations around uh, us in the city. Many have journeyed down this road. Not all have succeeded, but you did, and that makes us so proud. You might now continue your education, further specializing in your field of study, or you might venture out in the business world, in the real world, solving real problems. In both cases, you're going to build on the education and the experience that you got here at Maastricht University School of Business and Economics. You enter a new phase in your life. For now, I just want to congratulate you on what you've achieved, caps off, and I want to hand over the word to the Board of Examiners. Thank you, Peter. Also welcome on my behalf. My name is Erik de Recht. I'm the Chair of the Board of Examiners. I now declare you officially graduated. Congratulations. That also means that the tassel of your cap can now move from right to left. Wait a moment. On my command, you move it from right to left. Ready, steady, go. This graduation ceremony marks the close of one door and opens many others. You are now alumni of Maastricht University School of Business and Economics. This study at SBE is forever behind you. Congratulations also on my behalf. My name is Christoph Bosmans, member of the Board of Examiners. How do we keep in touch? First of all, you can join our platforms such as LinkedIn. Second of all, please keep updated your email address and your employment info, now and in the future. This network gives you access to alumni groups all over the world, an arena for lifelong learning. Our alumni are also our ambassadors, sharing experiences and participating in student recruitment events. Thank you for having chosen our university and school for your place of study. Thank you for the trust in us. Thank you also for the feedback and suggestions you provided. Thank you for being an active member of the SBE community. Congratulations on behalf of Maastricht University School of Business and Economics. We wish you all the best for the future. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. In June 2022, we will host an alumni reunion and I hope to see you all there. In addition, for now, once again, a big applause for our graduates, and I wish you all a wonderful and healthy graduation evening. Cheers.